One of the most iconic scenes in film history is Neo stopping bullets in midair, a scene that proves Neo was the one and that he could accomplish things that no other red pill could. But how could Neo stop bullets, fly, or even destroy agents? Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. The red pills possessed supernatural abilities such as super agility, speed, and strength. But when confronting an agent, running is the only option for survival. Every single man or woman who has stood their ground, everyone who has fought an agent has died. However, Neo did something that no other person has ever done. Defeat an agent. What are you trying to tell me? That I can dodge bullets? No, Neo. I'm trying to tell you that when you're ready, you won't have to. Later in the film, Neo does manage to dodge bullets like an agent, a scene that is equally iconic. But it wasn't until after Neo died that his powers truly manifested. This scene was recreated in Matrix Reloaded in the Merovingian's Chateau. So again the question is, how can Neo stop bullets? The first time we saw this classic scene, we thought that the physics defying ability came directly from Neo's body as we saw him raise his arm with an open hand. He does this multiple times throughout the three films. However, Neo's physical gesture is only symbolic. The power comes from somewhere else. Morpheus explained that the man who freed the first citizens of Zion was capable of manipulating the Matrix. When the Matrix was first built, there was a man born inside who had the ability to change whatever he wanted, to remake the Matrix as he saw fit. But later it is made clear that there is nothing mystical regarding the existence of the One. The One never existed. Neo was an anomaly of the Matrix program. He carries a special code that allows him to restart the Matrix. Your life is the sum of a remainder of an unbalanced equation inherent to the programming of the Matrix. A mysterious, supernatural, or prophetic explanation is completely pointless and unnecessary to understand Neo's abilities. He is a human that carries this error code, better known as the Integral Anomaly. After Neo died, the Integral Anomaly of the Matrix activated allowing him to come back from the dead and see the world of the Matrix as it truly is. For the Red Pills, after seeing the Matrix code on the monitors for so long, they no longer see the code. They see the image behind the code. Kind of like those hidden 3D pictures. You get used to it. I, I don't even see the code. All I see is blonde, brunette, redhead. But in Neo's case, it was the opposite. After he was resurrected, he saw the code behind the image. He no longer sees people, buildings, or bullets. He sees moving binary codes. Neo no longer sees the simulation as everyone else does. He sees what it truly is. The agents do not exist. Bullets do not exist. They are only numbers, just like the spoon. Do not try and bend the spoon. That's impossible. Instead Instead, only try to realize the truth. What truth? There is no spoon. So Neo doesn't stop bullets using superpowers, because the bullets aren't real. Neo is simply manipulating the Matrix code in real time. He can manipulate the code to such an extent that he can heal and bring people back from the dead, inside the Matrix of course. But Neo's abilities have their limitations. Neo can't change his environment. He can't create or redesign physical objects in the Matrix. He can't change how it looks, the time of day, or the weather. He only has comic book superhero abilities. But what if Neo's limitations weren't a matter of can or cannot, but rather of him never realizing his full potential? Neo inserting his hand into Trinity to remove a bullet and to restart her heart was probably an ability that he didn't know he had. 
In that moment of desperation, Neo discovered a new ability. Who knows what else he was capable of, given the situation. An example of how powerful the Anomaly's code is, is Sati. After she was cured of the Smith virus, Sati was endowed with the ability to modify the world of the Matrix. She made the sun rise. She created a brand new dawn. We've theorized that Sati was able to do this because she was assimilated by Agent Smith, who in turn carried part of the Anomaly's code after Neo destroyed him. Just as the Anomaly's code changed Smith, granting him new powers and abilities, it did so as well to Sati. However, her powers exceeded both Smith and Neo. She can change the simulation. Now, hypothetically speaking, if the Neo in Matrix 4 is one that has reached a higher level than the Neo from the original trilogy, then he would be an anomaly capable of changing, destroying, and restarting the simulation at his convenience. To think that Neo reached maximum level in Matrix Revolutions is to ignore the foundation of the power of the One, or rather, of the integral anomaly. And that is, that Neo is just as important to the system equation as the simulation is. Neo can destroy everything and everyone connected to the Matrix. He can cause a total system crash. Failure to comply with this process will result in a cataclysmic system crash, killing everyone connected to the Matrix. Remember that Neo also has powers in the real world. This is because he is still connected to the source, the machine mainframe that runs the Matrix and where the integral anomaly comes from which makes each program connected to the source susceptible to Neo's code. Not only is he capable of manipulating the Matrix, but Neo may also have the potential to do the same to Machine City. Here is where things can get more interesting. Machine City, as depicted in the Animatrix, was heaven on Earth for the robots. But just like the rest of the planet, it slowly became a gloomy and dark place after the war. Nevertheless, this city still exists and is functional. And there is where Neo remains. Matrix 4 could begin in Machine City with the robots interacting with Neo, putting him back in a pod, plugging him into a power plant, and reconnecting him to the simulation. Neo's abilities in the next film may continue the logic of the previous trilogy. He will be able to stop bullets and sentinels with his mind, but he may be able to change reality itself, causing people to wake up. We can only hope to see Neo grow and become more powerful in Matrix 4, doing new and surprising things inside the simulation and maybe in the real world. But do you agree? Is it possible that Neo wasn't able to reach his full potential in the original Matrix trilogy? Could he, like Sati, be able to change the Matrix? Will he become more powerful in Matrix 4? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.